Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Exorbs here, and today on today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these awesome clickable signs. So as you can see here, we have three diamonds for a diamond sword, and three diamonds for a diamond axe. So let me show you just here real quick. If I click this, I don't have any diamonds in my inventory. So as you can see, I do not get a diamond axe or a diamond sword. But if I go ahead and get me some diamonds, just like this, I will click it and it will give me a diamond sword while subtracting three diamonds from it. Before we get started, if you guys do enjoy videos like these, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. In the future, I will be doing a 5,000 subscriber special because I cannot even believe that we have made it to 5,000 subscribers. Thanks so much and let's go and get started. So the materials you will need for this is a block of your choice, at least one redstone comparator, one redstone torch, one oak sign. It depends on how many um, how many shops you're doing, but one oak sign at the minimum, and one armor stand at the minimum. Let's say you have three ones you're selling. You will need three redstone comparators, three redstone torch, and three signs and three armor stands. So to start, also, you're going to give yourself a command block. So in chat, you're going to say slash give at p command underscore block. That should give you a command block right there. The next thing we're going to do is in chat, you're going to say slash game rule command block output false. This will stop the annoying text from scrolling on the side of your screen. So now I'm gonna find a little place uh, where I can build this. So right here looks pretty good. I'm gonna build a five by three area, just like this. Yours may need to be a bit wider, depending on how many things you're gonna have. So like over here, I have two options. So yours may need to be bigger, but it should be looking something like this. So the next thing you're gonna do behind this, so where you're gonna put your uh, sign, which I'm going to put mine right here. You're going to put the block of your choice and then you're going to put a command block. So once you have something like, oh, and if you have multiple signs, make sure they're spaced out at least one in between. So they have to be spaced out like one in between each one. So just like that. Now you have two command blocks. What you're going to put in them is test, test for at E type equals armor underscore stand. Once you have that, you're going to put it on repeat and always active. And you're basically just going to copy the same command into this other one. Oh, I also forgot to mention comma. You're going to put a comma R equals 2.5. Now, in this second one, you're going to say comma r equals 2.5. So now you're going to put an armor stand right here, as you can see. Um, and over to this side, you're going to put your uh, sign. So I'm going to say diamond sword. And then I'm going to say the price is three diamonds, uh, diamonds, there we go. And then for the second one, I'm going to say uh, diamond axe. And then I'm going to also say three diamonds. And actually this time I will say four diamonds, just like that. And if you guys want to add some pizzazz to those signs, you can get a you can get a glow ink sack and then basically right click. And as you can see, it will make the signs glow, which is pretty cool in my. So now that we have these command blocks, we're going to add two blocks in front of it, just like this. Actually, we're going to add one block in front of it, just like this. And now you're going to put your redstone comparators right in front of it. We are going to build two blocks up just like this, and then we are going to have a redstone torch. Now, right above that redstone torch, we are going to have another command block above them, 
So now once you have that, summon armor underscore stand. And then once you put that in, you're going to find the coordinates of where this you put the armor stand. So to get those coordinates, uh, you're going to go into game and show coordinates. Make sure that is on. And as you can see in the top left, it shows my coordinates are 1371, 259. So 13, I'm gonna put that in, 1371 and two uh, something. 259 259 okay and now for this other block you're going to do the same thing except a different coordinate so 1571 259 also make sure that command block is on impulse and needs redstone now for the next command block you're going to place a block right there or actually two blocks for that matter just like that and then you're going to have two um, command blocks just right here, that, but make sure they're pointing face outwards. So now what you're going to do is you're going to say clear at P and then whatever your cost is. So like here, mine is going to be three diamonds. So we're going to say clear at P diamond, and then we're going to put th zero and then the amount that you want. So I have three diamonds they need. So I'm gonna put three. And you're going to have this on impulse and needs redstone again. So now time for the actual part where it gives. So what you're gonna do is you're going to face it out just in front. Make sure this arrow is pointing outwards again too. And then inside this, you're going to have a chain, conditional, and always active. And inside this command block, you're going to put give at P and then whatever you want to give them. So in this case, I want to give them a diamond underscore X. Okay, so simple enough. And then for this next one, I'm going to give them. So give at P and then um, diamond underscore sword. And just like that. Oh, and I also forgot uh, to put this on chain conditional and always active. Don't forget that. For the last command block, we are going to put it in between any one of these two. And now I'm gonna put these on repeat and always active. And then I'm gonna say effect at E type equals armor underscore stand. And then I'm going to say invisibility, invisibility nine 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 and then five and then true okay and what this does is it makes the armor stands invisible so as you can see i have zero diamonds i'm trying to break this and it won't give me any of the diamond sword but now if i go ahead and get diamonds as you can see i get a diamond sword and it subtracts it so diamond x a diamond X and it subtracts my diamonds. So that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys all in the next one.